Hey guys, have you ever wanted to make your own cloud server? Are you tired of the high prices and scarcity of Raspberry Pis? Well today I'll show you how you can set up Open Media Vault on the newer and cheaper Orange Pi 4 to create your own personal server. To get started, I'll be using a 4GB Orange Pi 4 LTS, along with this metal case. You're also going to need a micro SD card and an Ethernet cable if you want faster speeds. To flash an operating system to the SD card, we can use Belina Etcher. Go to belina.io or use the link in the description. I'm on Windows, so I'll download this version. Open the installer when it's finished downloading. Now, with Belina installed, we can close out of it. Now we need to download Arbian. This is an OS we'll flash on the SD card. Don't download Arbian Jammy. Scroll further down the page until you see Arbian Bullseye. We want the minimal CLI version. Choose your region and click the blue icon to download. Once you have Armbian Bullseye downloaded, get your micro SD card and insert it into your computer. Open Belina Etcher. Click on Flash from File. Choose the Armbian Bullseye file we downloaded earlier and click Open. Next. Click on Select Target. Now remember, this process will format and erase everything on the SD card. Make sure you are selecting the correct storage device. Click on your SD card and click Select at the bottom. Now click Flash. This process can take a while, so I'll speed it up. When it's done, Eject your SD card and insert it into your Orange Pi. After the initial boot up process, you should see this screen. Follow these steps to create a password and username for your Orange Pi. Choose your region. After that, type the code on screen or copy and paste from the description. After running the code, Open Media Vault should be installed. We can access it by typing the IP address from your Orange Pi into your browser. To log in, the default username is admin, and the password is lowercase Open Media Vault without any spaces. If you're logging in for the first time, your homepage may look different. You can customize this page to show different information about your server. But first, we need to set up storage. Click on Storage, then Disks. Then choose the disk you want to format. For this video, I'll be using the extra space on the SD card, but you can also add external USB storage. Click Wipe to format your storage device. This will erase all data. Click Confirm and Yes. If you want to wipe the storage device fast, click Quick. But if you have issues erasing, you can start with Secure, cancel it, and then continue with the Quick Erase. Once your drive is wiped, click on Shared Folders. I've already made a shared folder here, but I'll make another one to show you the process. Give your folder a name. I'll name mine OMV Cloud. Next, choose your storage device we wiped earlier. Lastly, make sure you change this section to Everyone Read and Write. If you set up your shared folder and it's not letting you add files or folders to it, double check that this has been set correctly. After that, go ahead and click Save. Since I've already made a folder with this name on it, I'll have to adjust it. Also, whenever you see this yellow box, click the check mark to save your changes.
The next step after this is to go to services, and then SMB slash SIFS. Click on shares, and then click the plus button. Select your shared folder, then on public, make sure it's set to either guests allowed or guests only. Then click save, and apply your changes. From here, your shared folder should be accessible from other devices. For example, on Windows, if you click on Network, you should see the orange pie listed as a computer. Now if it's not showing up, try refreshing the page. Once you see it, click on it. Here you should see your shared folder. Click on it to open it, and we'll test to see if we can add files. I'll drag these image files into the shared folder, and if everything is set up correctly, they'll copy over. If instead you get a pop-up saying you don't have permission to add the files, go back into your shared folder options, and make sure it's set to everyone read and write. Now before I end this video, I also want to show you how you can access your shared folders on your phone without downloading any extra apps. On an iPhone, go to your built-in files app, click the three dots in the top right, and connect to server. Then type the IP address of your orange pie. Since I've done this before, it shows up in recent servers. Tap guest, and then hit next. And there's our shared folders. I can even see the files I uploaded from my Windows computer. If you found this video helpful, or if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.